What's up guys? This is Jaren and in this video I'm going to be teaching you how to do syncing and After Effects. This is usually done in Tony Vegas and it's a lot easier in Tony Vegas but like say you have a clip and you want to twix or the reload at the end of a clip you have to, well the way I do it at least, I'd have to cut out the part that I want to be twix stored, render it, put it in After Effects put Twix store on it, render that, then put it back into Sony Vegas. And this way you can just sync all everything and then just put your Twix store at the end and not have to worry about doing all that. So this is pretty much what we're gonna be doing. It's in my latest video. So, open up your After Effects, make a new composition, and import the song that you want, which I'm going to use Undiscovered Colors by The Flashbulb, which is an amazing song for syncing. Um, and import the clip that you want. Okay. I'm just going to go to Lucid Designs, and use the Amy and I'm just going to redo what I did for my... Um, one clip wonder video and right off the bat go to your um, your clip like your video clip and you want to you know, let me get rid of the black box alright take the audio off of it to do that you just go all the way to the left of your clip and you'll see that little volume thing just click that it'll take the audio right off now you want to click where your music is and press L two times and it'll bring up the spikes in your song so just drag this along to where you want to be synced and if you don't know like I memorized like where to sync in this song because I've used it at least five times <laughs> but if you don't know where you want to sync because you're using a new song or whatever press the delete key on your number pad on your keyboard or the decimal point or the period whatever you want to call it just press that and it'll play through your audio Okay, so once you found the general area in which you want to be synced, just bring it over here. And you're going to want to do that again, but this time the star, I don't know, if it's star, multiplication, whatever key that's on your number pad on your keyboard, you want to press that on every beat that you want to sync a shot to. <clears throat> so I'm going to do that real quick. Okay, so now you have all these markers. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. You don't have to have nine. That's just how many times I shot in this clip. So I just counted out nine. Okay, so once you have that, you're going to want to insert the M4083 or Intervention or whatever gun you're using sound. <clears throat> and if you don't have this, you can just download it off of YouTube, off of a video or whatever. Or you can make your own by going to any clip that has the gun that you want. And that shoots it pretty much and you cut out the clip where the sound effect of the gun is you cut it and then render it as an mp3 that way it has no video and it's just an mp3 like this right here I don't know if you can hear that but whatever okay so every place that there's a marker you're gonna actually no I forgot like the most important part there is, I'm, I shot nine times in this video, so I want nine and 48 three sounds. To do that, just hold in control and press D, and it'll duplicate it. And I'm going to make nine of these. Let's see if my second grade math skills prevail this time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yes! Okay, now you're going to every place that there's a marker. You're going to want to drag your inter er, intervention in 48.3, you know, whatever, your gun sound, onto there. <clears throat> uh, about 
right there. Okie dokie. Now, I'm going to turn this down just a little bit so you can hear my intervention shots better. Er, pfft. I'm probably three shots better, I mean. right where I want it. So now you click on your video track and you are going to want to right click it, go to time, enable timer mapping, and it'll give you two little keyframes at the start and the end of your video. Hang on, let me put my timeline shorter. Okay. You'll have two little keyframes at the start and the end of your video and you're going to want to go along your video clip and find every single time that you shoot to go frame by frame you just hold in control and use the arrow keys, the left or right arrow keys and drop a keyframe on every shot usually whenever I sync I look for the frame that the bullet is coming out of the gun and you'll be able to see it on your thing like see it on your video sometimes at least not on this video clip for some reason but you'll be able to see where the gun comes out or what where the bullet comes out and that's where you want to drop the keyframe but if you can't you see right here where the gun does that little kick right there is where you want to drop the keyframe and that's pretty much it just right where the gun kicks or on the frame that the um see right here the gun's kicking because that means he shot, so that will keep it in there. Or the frame that um, you see the big spark come out of the gun. Okay. This part is kind of annoying, but this is where the actual sinking comes into play, so. You know, it's needed. See right here, you see nothing and then there's that spark. On the frame with that spark coming out is where you drop the keyframe. There's the spark again. Or the bullet, whatever. I'm just calling it a spark because it looks like a spark. And... Oh, I think I got only a couple more to go. Oops, what did I do? I don't know, I just did something. Whatever. Ah, sorry, I had an itch. Okay, okay. No. <sighs> if you haven't already, I'd appreciate if you like this video or subscribe to me. Because I'm almost to 80 subscribers. I know it's not a lot, but. That's a lot to me. So yeah, I'd really appreciate that if you do that now. Uh, also leave a comment if you think this tutorial is good or if you don't really like it because I just learned how to do this yesterday. So, you know. But there's not very many tutorials out there for this. I've honestly only seen like five. So I figured I'd make one. Okay, so after you have all your keyframes, let me make sure I got every shot. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Alright, you want to drag your keyframe onto where the M483 sound effect is. And you'll see your video clip move around usually, but it's supposed to do that. That just means that it's doing work. Okay, I'm 
going to build a RAM preview of this real quick. Let me make sure everything's set up good. Okay. The RAM preview of this real quick. Let's play through here. I just want to see that one last shot. There's a cut off right before it. That's really it. You're done. But now, just for myself, I'm gonna throw some color correction on here. <clears throat> it's not really color correction. I'm using Magic Bullet Looks, which I recommend everybody go and get. It's a plugin for After Effects, and it's basically just like hardcore color correction, pretty much. I'm just gonna go through some of these so you guys can see it. I have a bunch of presets. Here, this one doesn't look good on this map, but some maps it looks really good on. Let's go back down to my presets. This one's called Hope. I like it. Yeah. Let me get a better frame so you guys can see it there. There. Should move that a little bit. There, yeah, alright. This is pretty much it. It's pretty much just color correction. It's really cool looking, I like it. So I'm just gonna find one that I think looks good. No. There was one that I know looked really good. I think this is it. Yeah, this is a really dramatic looking. I think it looks it goes good with the song and the map. So I put that on there. And now I'm just gonna add my own little effects to it. But this is the end of the tutorial. I'm going to render this out after I put my like other stuff in there just for fun. And uh, it'll be at the end of the video. So please like this, comment on what you think of it, and subscribe. See you next time.